Hello and welcome. <laughs> I say it like a bajillion times, but I feel so weird sitting here and playing in makeup again. So anyways, hello, welcome. My name's Rhonda and over here, we welcome the judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone. We sit back, relax, we play, talk, unbox makeup. Today specifically, we are playing with my girl Anne's palette, the Extra Extra Orden Heiress palette. Oh, the struggle is real for me. So I created this eye look using a bunch of colors in this palette. I jumped outside my cozy zone, y'all, and I am so excited about it. So huge congratulations to my friend and We've been friends here on YouTube for a long doggone time, and I just, I love her. So she's an amazing person. I will have her channel linked down below, as well as this, uh, her website for this palette. I talk about later in the video, the day I'm filming this, is her like relaunch not relaunch what's that called restock <laughs> but i can't tell the future if i had to guess it's already done sold out because Anne's amazing so anyways hopefully you were able to pick up this palette and you can follow along i also in today's video show you all how i apply my lashes that's been something that a lot of y'all have been asking so boom we're doing that in today's video. So as always, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you guys decide to stick around. I have a couple other channels, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs and Hot Mess in the Kitchen. Huge shout out to my YouTube members. You don't have to help support the channel, but you choose to. And I appreciate you all bunches and bunches. And to my thank you crew, this is a new thing that I have been doing. Um, but when I am able to catch y'all doing the little thanks button here on YouTube, I try and like say thank you back to y'all <laughs> and I appreciate you guys and please don't ever feel like you have to I do want to give a warning I am pre-filming um this video so if you guys have done the things I'm keeping track of it um but you'll see it later in the month same with my YouTube members if anyone is new that has joined um, since I'm pre-recording, you may not see you in this video in the next few videos, but just know I see you and you will be coming in future videos. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So it's been hectic and I'm just trying to catch up. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into how I created this beautiful look with Anne's gorgeous flipping palette. Okay, so we are going to jump in to creating a look with Anne's palette. I am so excited. So if you guys picked up her first palette that she launched last year, I feel like this one complements the first palette so well. I think she just did such a good job. So let me show you guys side by side. Here you go. Isn't it perfect? I just think it's so perfect. I think they complement each other. And congratulations once again. And you guys are going to hear that non freaking stop. So, anywho, let's go ahead. I have gone ahead and primed my lids with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base in the shade Medium. A dab will do you. You don't need much on that. So, I'm going to jump into the first shade. I can't stop staring at it. I'm probably going to focus, surprisingly enough, more on the warm side of things because I love this shade so much so this is the palette up close and I will insert swatches and in everything that I've done um, but when it comes to the layout of this palette I just think it's gorgeous but I'm also gravitating towards this gorgeous color too so there's gonna be a lot going on you guys know when it comes to color my brain kind of is like short circuits but like I told you guys in the unboxing video for the slake land box I really felt like it was laid out very perfectly because one Warm side, cool side, and then everything is very cohesive and works together. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump in with the shade Ram. So I'm going to take a fluffy, uh, this is a E51. This is part of the Blinged Brush Ice Queen collection. I could not think. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now the Rasha B Cosmetics, I honestly, I really like the mattes. I really like this formula. Now I have not set any of my primer I'm just using the shadows to set the actual primer so it's kind of got a tacky base so I'm gonna kind of go a little on the ham sandwich side with this color and really kind of blow it out now I do what I call the tap tap dab dab method because I do have slightly hooded and mature lids what I do is a little tappity tap dabity dab and then I build my color up that way and then once I built it up 
I lightly start kind of scooting the brush around and I found ever since I started doing that I don't have that skipping that I typically would have I am gonna put a little of that underneath the eye as well real lightly and I do take some of my primer and lightly put it underneath okay so next I want to go in with the shade loyal and I think I'm gonna place it a little bit lower down in my crease just like right in this area and then I'm gonna take it and put it underneath the eye too Ooh, it's like a flipping sunset I love that okay so this shade brave is really calling my name and I kind of want to add that so I think I'm gonna <laughs> Okay, by the way, um, my brush that I'm using is by Blinged Brushes, and it's an e, E3. e I don't know the collection name, but I love it. Actually, Code High Mess will save you 10% over at Blinged Brushes. I love them. Thank you if you use my code, by the way. So I'm going to go into the shade Brave. It's this really pretty purple shade. Um, I think I'm going to just keep with this brush. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to switch over to this brush which is this smaller angled brush this is by bk beauty it's a 205 brush i don't know if my code still works for them it's like hot mess 10. okay so i'm gonna just take this brush and lightly dab in and tie up and if i tap half the product off that's fine because i just i just want to build this color up and it's a little on the scary side <laughs> so hold on I'm just gonna place it in the outer V and lightly just keep building up. This is so flipping pretty. It's like a mother trucking sunset. Look at me getting outside my cozy zone. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Impulsive because I definitely feel like your girl's being a little on the impulsive side. And I'm gonna just tie up it right next to, oh, that was too much, let me take some off. Right next to that brave shade. And I kind of want to take a little bit of that impulse shade and bring it right through here, like just up just a smidge and then over, over top of that brave. Can she repeat it on the other side? I don't know. Fingers crossed. Let's try this. I am so freaking proud of myself, y'all, right now. I mean, this may not be a lot for y'all, but for, for some of y'all, but for me, I'm like, I'm trying to do my girl justice and I am so excited over the colors that I am like meshing together. I just think it's turning out really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do next is take my finger and go in with passionate to maybe kind of set a base for what I've got. Hold on, coming close for what I've got kind of going on. So I'm just going to tap that with my finger just like over from the middle inward look at her i kind of want to take a little bit of that impulsive shade and still kind of lightly dab it right through here this is my way of blending because for me i either blend too much too hard and it dissipates or disappears whatever you want to call it hold on <laughs> and i need a coffee moment but i i don't know i just i really like you you know doing that because i find when I do that and more of a tapping, I keep the product. No matter what brand I'm using, I keep the product there, you know? So I do want to incorporate that impulsive shade down underneath my eyes. So I'm going to jump in. This is part of the Paige Crin uh, collection with blinged brushes. I use a ton of blinged brushes, y'all. I know some, some of y'all are like, they're really expensive. They are, but they're good. I mean, I would, I would not tell you guys to spend your money on something that it's just pretty you know what I mean like it it's not just pretty they actually work really really good so I'm gonna take some of this uh, impulsive shade and tap it underneath over top of what I've already put there and it's okay I'm just gonna let those colors mix and then I think I'll add nothing I'm gonna leave it like that from there I really want to incorporate constellation just like a hint of it because it's so it's shifty I mean it's definitely a multi 
chrome I would say because I see pink and purple here but then when I hold it up there's like yellow and green in there so I kind of want to put it just real there is no lightly I'm going ham sandwich just dusting it over top like that just real like a kiss of like a fairy dust you know what I mean because it's like micro fine and just really light tie ups I love it. I can't stop adding it. I have to stop. Okay, okay, okay. That is so pretty. I think I am going to go back in with a fluffier, fluffier brush and tap some more of that impulsive shade over top of that brave shade because I just really like it. I'm just going to lightly tap it and kind of soften the brave shade some more. I'm going to add some of the liners that was in the Slake Land box for April. I shouldn't say some. I'm only going to add one and it was this lavender color. I'm going to put that in my waterline and then I'm going to just do a black on my tight line and then I'm going to add some lashes which I'm actually going to film a short for you all because a lot of you guys have been asking how do I apply my lashes so stay tuned for that that's going to be coming up I'm going to hop off I'm going to film that real quick and then I'll be right back okay listen so I'm going to do the other lash while I've got you guys on camera because I just tried to film a reel and y'all under pressure trying to put a strip lash on no thank you so I've got this side on already <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you guys through the second one um, and it'll be so much easier all right so what I was saying hold on let me set this one over here as far as the lashes that I use I like to use the shop miss a or the so wispy number 11 uh, signature wispy effect by kiss I get these at Ulta. I can wear the heck out of these. I can get a few wears out of this one. Uh, this pack is about $7 with shipping over at Shop Miss A. Um, but these I absolutely freaking love because I feel like they look foofy but more on the natural side compared to these. What I love about both of them is the fact that the band is clear. So it makes life so much easier. So I've got a pair of my Shop Miss A's that I've worn um, yesterday. So I peeled off the glue. And what I do is I've got some Kiss adhesive glue. I think Kiss may have sent this. If not, then I got it at Ulta. And I just go ahead and I paint my glue on and let that kind of marinate on there. Ooh. Did not get all of yesterday's glue off. Judgment free, mother truck and zone. Okay. So you don't need fancy things. You don't need fancy gadgets. One thing that I do prior to putting on my lashes is I just take a lash curler. Again, does not have to be expensive. I clamp or what's that called? I curl my natural lashes. Then I do apply some mascara on. So while that's sitting and it's drying, then I do have an issue with lifting. I mean, heck, how many videos have I filmed where I have like a pop-off happening? It happens. So I take some extra glue and I hit the inner and outer portion of my eye and let that sit and dry. Before I put it back into my glue bottle, I do clean it off. I've got a tissue and a rag sitting here. You guys will see I've got a little glue here. Oh, Lord, I got it over here. That explains so much. I've been flinging everything around. I don't work well under pressure, apparently. So I do try and clean that off like that. Now, I like this lash glue because it does have biotin in here and blueberry and it's latex free. I'll have everything linked for you guys. Um, but I do let that sit and get tacky. You can tell, like right now, you can kind of see it's got like a white cast to it on both. And so I let it just dry down before I go putting it. It was funny because I was trying to like glue my lashes down on this side and, and, and this was getting stuck to it. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Well, I had flung glue all over myself. <laughs> good fun times. Good fun times. So here's the thing. If you take your lash and you plop it on right now when it's still kind of white and gluey, it's going to just make a hot mess. It's just going to make a huge mess all over your lid. So let it dry down. Let it sit. You can fiddle around. You can do whatever you want before you plop it down. But like I said, I feel like these are just, for me, the easiest. When it has a dark band, 
um, or a thicker band. I'm honestly, I'm just not as good with them. I love them, but for me, it's just much easier um, with a clear band. So I like to look down and apply it in the center and just let it sit right down like so. And then I go for the inner and plop it down and kind of squeeze my natural lash. And then put the end down out here and then squeeze with my natural lash. And then I always have a rag right here where I clean it off because it never fails. I get glue on it and then I come back and make sure I've got everything down. I need to change the battery. Now I have two different eyes, like two different shaped eyes. One um, because my face was in a car accident, so one side took it a hit more than the other. So if they look a little off, well, I'm not symmetrical. I don't know if I really was um, before, but the accident didn't help if I was. Hold on, let me change the battery. I am back, batteries changed, and let's chitty chat. So hopefully that kind of helped you guys on how I put on my lashes. I, and I really, really love, like I said, the Kiss, it's the Lash Couture Brush On. I'll have it all linked for you guys. I just love it so much. So let's talk about Anne's palette. I love this look. I, I love it. I'm literally so proud of myself with the color. It's like a sparkly little sunset. So I don't know if, I know at one point she was restocking. I don't know if that... I can't tell the future because the day I'm filming this is restock day. So I'm like, oh, but just in case, I will have Anne's website linked down below for you all so you can go check it out. I do believe that she actually was bringing back her Christmas Wishes uh, palette as well. But again, it could be gone. So hopefully you guys were able to snag it, maybe go create this look with me. I think it's a beautiful palette. I think she did an excellent job. The colors are fun. They're vibrant. They are Anne. So congratulations once again, Anne, on your amazing success. I will have her channel linked down below for you all. If you guys are curious, I literally just got my hair stuck in there. Owie. Oh, if you guys are curious about just my base makeup, I did a simple base tutorial type of dealio. Um, it's really, in my head, it's really simple. Uh, I will have that video coming up soon if it's not already up. But uh, yeah, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It felt so weird sitting here. I'm normally sitting in the family room and I'm like, wow. Like normally I'm just putting my face on and, and then going and filming elsewhere, but it's fun to be back in here. So anyways, friends, that's all for today's video. Shout out and thank you to my YouTube members for helping to support the channel when you truly don't have to. Thanks to my thanks. I'm calling you guys like my thank you crew type of dealio because you guys hit that thanks button and uh, give the channel a little something something and you guys never have to, but thank you to those of you who choose to. And of course, check me out on my other channels, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs for Curvy Girl Fashion Haul over there and hot mess in the kitchen and then of course on social medias instagram tiktok all of that so until next time friends as always kisses from Kentucky. bye what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life deep connection lights a spark it's like you know me in the depths of my heart we're dreamers don't care